Hello everyone, welcome back to the doll shop. This creepy, very creepy game. Last time we ended up having dinner with what seems to be the girl of our dreams. And then, I don't know, weird stuff happened. We have something going on in our mind. And I think that the big doll that is in our house is actually the kid missing. Makes sense. Not now. Okay, fine. Then not now. Someone was at the door, wasn't it? It's a butterfly. Butterfly in the middle of winter? Guess we're gonna follow the butterfly. It's there. Where are you heading me to? Um. Oh, there's multiple butterflies. Okay, there's a pathway of butterflies. Are we heading towards... That statue thing? I guess we are. In the middle of the night? Okay, then. I'm not sure if that's what we want. Well, I mean, it's absolutely the thing that we want. Not sure if that's a smart thing to do, because this is creepy as hell. Yeah, so what's the deal with the statue then? Clearing my head at the smiling Jizo helps calm me down. I close my eyes for a moment. When I open them, I spot something lying between its feet. Another piece of uh, a doll face. It's a porcelain shard, a mouth. I hold it to my ear. It whispers, don't be afraid. Trust me. For a minute, I feel less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. Um... Last day. Oh, this is the last day. Okay, so there's four days in total. So this could probably be the last episode. I wake up with a terrible headache. The events of yesterday are blurry. I can hardly make out dream from reality. I hope I didn't do anything irre irreversible. What? The door is open? Did I forget to close it or did someone enter? I think... Nothing unusual. I probably just forgot to unlock it. Yeah, are you sure? Is the thing still there? I really need to be more careful. Hello, butterfly. Hello there. I see you've settled in. You're going to like your new home. Time to go back to work. I have everything I need to finish the doll now. Okie dokie. Are you ready for makeup? Let's hide these ugly cracks. Yeah, but do we have white? It's not the right color, I know. That's glue, that's, I don't need, oh wait, we got it here. Can we put this on the, there. <laughs> it just changed, okay. Oh boy, really? You want me to get a color every time? Yeah, this is gonna be a thing. Gonna be time consuming. Also, quite precise. Right, so the story is, is very creepy. I'm pretty sure that he turned that child into a doll. Which is freaking weird if you ask me. But I also told you guys that I do not like dolls in real life. They freak me out. These, and it's mostly the porcelain dolls that really freak me out. This one, I don't know what it is. Not so much, even though this one is a lot more creepier than... No, it's not. The Western dolls are as creepy as, as they can get. They really are. And now, the final touch. Yeah, let's... 
Put some more gloss on the cheeks there. Pretty. Oh, you're perfect. It's time to return you to your owner. You know, maybe what, what has crossed my mind is that we are the only living being in this town. Everybody else is dead. So we're living in a ghost town. Uh, what's that? New poster found. Yeah, so that's the last one. W what is this thing doing here? Someone entered when I was out. They have no right to do that. Always sneaking. Talking. Behind my back. Will they never leave me in peace? If it's a joke, it's a bad one. I better throw it away. There's something behind it. Another one of these doll shards? An eye. Makes me uncomfortable. It sees right through me. It knows. No. Everything's fine. It's just a joke. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. A bad joke. All right, let's head out. Let's go and return the doll. Don't forget to put in your coat, because it's freaking cold outside. It's winter. Yeah, because we never... We never... We only saw the silhouettes of the people. We never saw... Except for the granddaughter. But nobody else. Silhouettes, so... That's why I think that this may be a ghost town, and since we're mentally unstable, that might have been the thing. But it doesn't make sense that, that she lives here then. Excuse me. Unless she's not who she says she is. Oh, how are you? But I think we're gonna figure that out. Look who I brought back. Let me look at her. It's incredible. She looks brand new. I can't spot any imperfections. You surpassed yourself once again. Is your granddaughter home? I wanted to show her the doll. She must be around somewhere. I believe her job isn't going too well. I offered that she stay here, but you know how she is. As stubborn as a mule. You seem disappointed. It's okay. Goodbye. I'll tell her you came. Thank you. So she is still somewhere around. Oh, I forgot to pay him. Ah, he'll be back. Will I? <laughs> Once outside, I find myself in the mood for a walk. Maybe I'll cross paths with her if I head to the shrine. Yeah, because we sent her to the shrine. But was it before or after dinner? It's really creepy. Mostly because it's messing with your mind. They don't show you what the hell's going on. The fear and, and it's the atmosphere and storytelling. Spot on. It really is spot on. It's unsettling. That's what it is. Is she inside? There's nobody here, as I expected. Before leaving, I notice an object half buried in the snow. It's the other eye. What's that doing here? Once again, I feel watched. I turn around. I'm alone. Are you? I'd better go home. Are you alone? And also, do we have a complete face? 
Like the doll shards, are, are, are they complete now? We got two eyes, a nose, a mouth. And a cheek. <laughs> so we're missing one cheek, I guess. Let's go here then. What happened? Oh, hey. I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have insisted. No, it's nothing. Have, have you made your decision? It's not that easy. I was happy to see you again. Without you, I'd probably already be back in town. But I don't think I'm going to stay. Um, I tried at least. <clears throat> it's not your fault, we had a good time together. It's just that I have this feeling I left something unfinished in town. I understand, it's okay. You're so withdrawn. You need to learn to say what's on your mind. Okay, then don't say anything. Forget it, I'm leaving. Wait. Before you leave, I, I'd i like to show you something. Yo, no! Oh. Yeah, let's go for the butterfly because, man, the doll. You really don't understand anything. It's not surprising you live alone in this old house. Should we pick the doll? No. Wait. No. Wait. Um, you don't have to be hurtful. It will only take a moment. You know what? You don't have to be hurtful. Excuse me, I'd better go. What the hell happened here? Um, you two are always running away. Don't you want to discover a secret? Man, these options? I don't want to kill Tripper. Yeah, let's go full creep mode. Don't you want to discover my secrets? <laughs> secrets are for kids. Don't you want to grow up? Okay, but quickly, and then I have to go. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Follow me. Um... I have the feeling I've been here before. This is the room with the red walls. I've been so eager to introduce her to you. I don't like this place. You'll see how beautiful she is. You're going to like her, I'm sure. Run. Run. Look who's here. Say hello to my friend. Oh no, it's the missing girl. Don't be afraid, it's not what you think. Don't come closer. Wait, listen to me. Why are you running away? There's nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine, together, we could be a family. I won't tell anyone, please. Just let me leave. You got it. Um. Oh. Mm. Shall we do the right thing? Or shall we do the protective thing? You know what? Let's go full dark. Switch off the light. Nobody can. What? Forgive me, I didn't intend to hurt you. But don't worry, I'm going to fix it. This is a twist. What the hell? That emptiness, I cannot leave it alone. I must heal you. 
Um, but we had... Oh, come here. We need to put the butterfly inside her face. Oh, God. <sighs> Isn't it better this way? No. I know you love this butterfly. Now it's time to close it. All right. Close it up, then. It's not like this is extremely weird or anything. Yes, it is. You're perfect. What? I'm so happy you're here. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic steps, but what else could I do? You understand, don't you? Now the three of us are a family. You know what? I think we're going to be very happy together. Who came up with this? I left the room and closed the door behind me. People are going to be suspicious now. They will ask questions. I'll help as much as possible. We'll organize a search party in the forest. And I'll hang a poster in my shop. But they won't ever find you. Oh my god, this is spine tingling. This is... this is... I've unlocked ending C. I want my friend's confidence. My secret is known by you alone. I did not save my childhood friend. And I did not complete my butterfly collection. I did find all the posters. Oh, there's additional content. So yeah, there is actually um, several endings, which I'm not going to show you. If you want to do it yourself, the link to the game is down in the description so you can play through the game yourself um, to figure out all the endings and, of course, the additional content. And absolutely, the graphics were drawn um, by hand, which, which are amazing. The art style is amazing. So yeah, there's a couple of credits right here. And before we end, I want to thank you very much for watching The Doll Shop. And I will see you next game.